Welcome back to our virtual book nook. Today we are reading part two of Monkey with a Tool Belt. Clark came walking up the beach. He was wearing a Hawaiian shirt, Hawaiian shorts, and a Hawaiian visor. He had forgotten his tool belt at home. Hey Chico, Am I ever glad to see you? Something is running amok here and we don't know what it is. Chico was glad to see his old friend, but his outfit made it a little hard to focus. A lot of things have changed. A lot of things have been broken, said Clark's Uncle Bill who suddenly appeared from behind some surfboards. It's very mysterious. That is mysterious, Chico agreed. I think we should start fixing the broken things. Maybe we can find some clues. They walked down to one of the cabanas. This is a cabana right here. It's like a little hut. It had a big hole in the roof. Several coconuts and some popcorn were underneath the hole. It looks like something or someone fell through. Chico put on his safety harness and climbed the roof. He didn't see anything unusual except for a green feather and a big piece of seaweed. He tucked the feather in his tool belt. Then he fixed the hole with some palm leaves, twine, and nails. The next broken thing was one of Uncle Bill's little sailboats. Something had scuffed the floor so much that now the boat was leaking. Whatever it was had also filled the sailboat's storage bench with breadcrumbs. Hmm, what tool do you think he's going to use to fix the sailboat? This is odd, thought Chico, as he carefully repaired the bottom of the boat. He patched it and then vacuumed up the breadcrumbs with a wet dry vac he borrowed from a friend his from a friendly sea captain. Next they walked down to the hammocks. I think something has chewed the ropes, said Uncle Bill. Yes, I believe you're right, said Chico. Kind of a weird thing to do, observed Clark. They're not very tasty. Chico repaired the ropes and retied the hammocks. Underneath, he found a cupcake wrapper and triangular footprints in the sand. Just then, one of the lifeguards ran up. Something's wrong with the water slide. Hmm, I wonder who's making this mess. Who do you think it is? They all rushed to the slide. The water was barely trickling down the tube. Where's all the water? Crawling out is hurting our knees. Suddenly, they all heard a loud swoosh at the bottom of the tube. Sliders blasted out of the bottom of the slide. They were all okay, but extremely waterlogged. They scrambled out of the pool. Water was spraying out the bottom of the slide like a giant fire hose. Everyone ran for cover. 
Chico went behind the slide to a small building. One, the door would not budge. Two, he checked the doorknob with his 90, 90 degree turn detector. No turning was detected. Three, he loosened it with his half inch Lucy Lou. Four, he put a wobble wedge under the knob. Five, he sprayed some invisible oil behind the wedge. It was hard to tell how much he used. Six, he dusted the keyhole with bubble powder. Three tiny bubbles floated out. A good sign. Seven, he felt hungry so he ate a banana. Eight, he wiggled the doorknob then turned it slowly. It made a small sound. Click. The door unlocked. He slowly pushed it open and peeked around the edge. He looked inside the pump room. He could not believe his eyes. A large green duck was tap dancing on the pump handle. Chico had not expected this. After a moment, he politely said, what are you doing up there? Dancing. How do you like my moves? They're really very good. But you are causing a few problems with the water slide. I'm causing problems, said the duck. Yes, said Chico. Some mice just went on the ride of their lives. Would it help if I got down from here? Asked the duck. Yes, said Chico, as the duck backflipped onto the floor. Chico turned the handle to slow down the water as the duck moonwalked backward into a pile of buckets. Crash! Whoa! Stuff around here sure breaks a lot. As Chico helped him up, he realized something. He pulled the feather from his tool belt pocket and held it up to the duck. He noticed several things about the duck that matched some of the other clues. He looked at the duck's feet. They matched the shape in the sand by the hammocks. Chico had solved the mystery. Just then, Clark and Uncle Bill showed up. I think I figured out how everything got broken, said Chico, glancing towards the duck. But I'm pretty sure it was an accident. Sorry, but I'm pretty sure it was accidental. A duck? That's all, said Clark. I thought it was a monster or a wild animal. Well... He is a little wild, actually, said Chico. But he is also a really good dancer. The duck danced outside and hopped on his bike. He rode off down the beach. Another problem solved, said Clark. You sure are good at fixing things, Chico. I wonder if he'll come back. Well, at least everything is all fixed now. So guys, now, how about this idea? Let's go surfing. So off they ran to catch the last waves before the sunset. The end. Wow. I loved this book so much. He used so many tools to help his friends fix the island. I want you to think now, what were some of the tools he used? And how did he use these tools to fix things? See you next time for another virtual book note.